Hey everybody, this is Eric from Chanshare Sod Farms. A couple weeks ago I hopped on here and I told you not to water, not to mow, and not to fertilize yet um, so that you could produce a more water-wise lawn during the summer. And I just wanted to follow up and show you, I haven't mowed or fertilized my lawn yet and look at the difference between two weeks ago as to what it looks like now. Now you can see that there's a huge difference between the lawn before and the lawn now, and I haven't done anything with it. It's getting to the point where it's pretty long and I want to mow it, so here's a couple of tips for you. First tip, make sure that you have a sharp blade on your mower. This will prevent you from tearing the blades and causing your lawn to go into shock. The second tip, make sure that you don't cut more than one third of the blade at a time. Again, this will prevent shock in your lawn and damage to your lawn. Third tip, keep an eye on weeds in your lawn. The most effective form of weed control is hand weeding. And all you gotta do is make sure that you grab down by the roots, and get the whole plant and pull it right out. You can also use a granular weed control to make sure that weeds stay out all season long. And then as I mentioned before, if you added a winterizer fertilizer onto your lawn in November or late in the fall, you should not have to put another fertilizer on until around Memorial Day. And since we've had such a wet spring, there's no need to put your lawn on a regular watering schedule yet. And one last tip, mulch your clippings and leave them on the lawn, and this will return water and nutrients to the soil. If you want to learn how to create a water-wise lawn, download our residential lawn care guide at chanshare.com or check out waterwiseit.com in order to learn how to water-wise your lawn, landscape, and technology.